What's going on people and welcome back to another video. Now, today I am having to be a little bit more quiet because of course, you know, we do have neighbours. So, please try and bear with me because I am going to be speaking at a slightly different volume. But hopefully you'll understand the point I'm making. So, again, I've been away for quite a while and I'm getting into a little bit of a habit of doing this. But again, it's because unfortunately life is just getting in the way far too much. Again, though, I am meaning to try and bring you meaningful content. But obviously, you know, things are getting very tricky, especially with especially with outside factors in play. But again, nothing really I can do about that. But you know, may as well bring you up to speed. Uh, I had my first paid job. It was actually a funeral, but yes, it was a bit awkward. But you know, as I as I got more into it, I think I started to understand the shots a bit better, and I started to understand you know other things as well, and it gave me some much needed experience. And who knows, I might be up for other things in the future as well. Now again, it's my first one, so nothing more I can really say on that apart from you know, you know, it was a very good send off. It was a lovely service. So I've been playing around with this new, I suppose, this new tool I've got, and I had one of these in the past. Now, I don't know if you'll recognize it or if you know what this is. This is the Zhuin Weibull S. I'll show you what it says on the side there. The Zhuin Weibull S is something that I've been playing around with for the meantime, and of course, it is Zhuin. It's not Ziyun or Zayun, it's Zhuin. Now, this gimbal... This gimbal has actually been a real game changer. Now, I'm not going to be going over a full review. Maybe I might do that in a separate video. Anyway, so on the Zoom we will ask real quick. I want to just quickly put a couple of uh, little bits of footage right here, just so you can get a bit of a hint of the idea. And as you can see, the video footage is pretty good, and a couple of times, you know, you see, of course, I've actually got some footage with it with the dogs from for like a, a quick reader's digest version of it. I'll say, you know, it is superb. You know, it's way better than my Zoom Crane Plus, and a whole lot better than the Zoom Smooth Four. Zoom Smooth Four I had first. That's for mobile phones. Didn't work particularly well, but you know, it could do the job as long as your phone has got a decent enough camera. The phone cameras I've been used to are pretty rubbish. iPhone wise, I have pretty basic iPhones. If you have an iPhone XS Max, maybe then it would work or an iPhone 11 Pro Max, then again, it probably would look a lot better. But again, I wasn't really into that. Then I got the Zhuin Crane Plus. That was all right. It worked for DSLR cameras and mirrorless cameras. First I used my M3 and then I used my ADD. And eventually it just wasn't up for the task because I found there was a few little shortcomings. But again, I think I won't go into it too much, but the Zoom Weebl S, you know, a lot better than those. Oh, and on the M3, I've sold it. So yeah, my very first ever YouTube camera or official YouTube camera that I was going to use exclusively for YouTube is being given or has been sold on to someone else. And, you know, it's pretty saddening, but to be fair, it was it wasn't really being used anymore. It was pretty much sat down right here, just doing nothing. It wasn't collecting any dust because it was inside of its own case. And I thought, you know what? It's sat there. Someone else needs to use it. Someone needs to put it through its paces. And besides, the, the use case of it was pretty darn low. And I also managed to get some footage with this brand new lens I picked up. In fact, the lens I'm using right now is the Sigma 20mm f1.4. Now it's actually one of the better lenses out there, obviously with the 1.4 factor, you know, it does incredibly in low light, you know, my ISO is at 250, the light intensity I've got right here is only at about 4%, and you know, this shot, I actually really like the look of this shot, you know, it's, it's definitely a lot better, not to mention with the f1.4 in there, you get a much blurrier background and a much shallower depth of field. But anyway, so apart from that, I am also planning a few other collaborations, and most times as well, my set always changes. You know, I'm in a, I'm in one room. I'm in the you know I'm in my I'm in my bedroom. I'm in the living room. I've been in my I'm in my dad's place. I've been you know I've been in several different camera angles. This is brand new. Every single shot is different, and that's the thing. Just play around with it and see how it works. And there also have been like, let me start again. Several of my videos in the past actually have never been released, and I actually have probably made that worse but in the past I would upload anything you know from a bottle flipping compilation to a flip out compilation but on that um, I will say you know doing YouTube and all that it is fun I just have I have difficulty thinking of different things to film when it comes to collaborating with other people you know I am trying to think of other things to do obviously I'm doing something with Steph doing something with other YouTubers but 
you know, it's it's slow progress, especially with everything that's going on in the world. But I'm going to try not to bring up COVID because at the moment it's just making things a whole lot trickier, especially with the fact that now, especially now the virus is in much bigger circulation. So we'll have to wait and see on that part. And hopefully, you know, hopefully with enough like determination, we can hopefully we can hopefully make the trend go further down. But anyway, I would, I would like to hear, like, if anyone's got any feedback they want to give me on certain things, you know, I do appreciate a little bit of feedback and I also do appreciate, you know, a little bit of fair criticism. I mean, I will also admit something I've not really come to terms with is accepting criticism. Some of them can be quite harsh and sometimes I have to take it with a pinch of salt and just be like, okay, I understand what you're saying. I will hopefully try and improve myself. And I'm always thinking about this because sometimes I do look back at my old videos and I do look at them and I think, God, what did I do that for? And there's one video I've had to take down recently because I was not very impressed with it at all. And I'll admit, I actually committed plagiarism and I feel stupid I did that. That's why I took the video down. It was me doing the whole starting on YouTube basics. I think it was. It was the first episode of a series I was thinking of doing and I actually ripped off someone so it was a terrible idea. So that's another thing you've got to make sure you bear in mind when you start YouTube is do not commit plagiarism because it is a it's a tremendously stupid idea. Like it's the I consider it nearly a crime. Like if, if you copy the video almost exactly well then you're basically taking away the you're taking away the entertainment element and you're also taking away the educational element because it was a learning and it was more it was kind of half and half but again it was from a creator that I know quite well or a creator that I've watched an awful lot of and I feel incredibly stupid but again hopefully I can I can improve myself and try and bring out my personality a little bit more because I tend to find I look a bit dead in videos and I sometimes don't really bring that personality out in most videos but I'm hopefully going to try and bring that out but we will hopefully have to wait and see and that's another thing that's my key phrase i've noticed we will have to wait and see but i will certainly try and make sure that happens as soon as possible anyway that's enough from me and enough jibber jabbering hopefully you guys have understood what i'm talking about and hopefully you will appreciate the effort anyway if you did enjoy be sure you hit the thumbs up be sure you subscribe down below hit the bell and be sure you go ahead and check out my socials. I'll be posting a little bit more often on there. I can hopefully promise that, you know, and hopefully you guys do enjoy the future content that's due to come out fairly soon. Hopefully I'll keep you guys updated and hopefully Steph will bring some as well. Anyway, enough about all that. Take great care, stay safe you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.